Today we have a group of students from the BISH in Galway um, who have come in to look at uh, what we do in the Department of Building and Civil Engineering and to have an overview of the programmes that we run in the, in the department. Basically when you're doing your CAO you're entering here, this is your you here just to come up to fix your the students have been divided into groups today and we're running lab sessions for the, for the students in the hydraulics lab, the structures lab, um, a concrete lab session and they're also being given a tour of the architectural studio. But then he starts looking at, right, what do I have to put onto this, this building to make this building weathertight and also to make this building insulated and warm? Do I need to put a skin of cladding on it? So this is my cladding. So you can see how the cladding is, is, is fixed back to the building. Yeah. It's not really clever, is it? And this is one of the problems that we have in uh, the concrete industry. We wouldn't have just general concrete into it, in general. So the carbon, uh, carbon dioxide emitting particles, we're replacing them with waste material from other industries. My name is Michael Kelly and I'm a fourth year civil engineering student in the Bachelor of Engineering Honours degree in GMIT. Uh, it's a four-year programme and um, I find it a very practical course. You start off with the lo uh, simple surveying and mathematicals and Dino construction technology and you progress into more advanced software packages and dealing with hydraulic um, properties of soils and d pipe design until you eventually move on to designing a project in your final year from conception to uh, ready for d uh, construction. Um, we did an IDA business park in um, County Galway from, from a basic site right up until a 3D design completed with contracts selected and um, a presentation prepared for that business park. I find I'm a very practical person. Um, I don't know if I could sit in a very large room and be told to read a book when I get home. The idea of carrying out surveys outside and working on software and working on different aspects of it, in like on a practical sense, I found um, much more advantageous to me anyway. Um, the small class groups mean you get an opportunity, you get more one-to-one -one time with your lecture and you get an opportunity to discuss with them in depth little details and things and there's no problem um, speaking in front of a small class and things like that. You don't have to, to put your hand up in front of 300 people looking to ask a question that you're not too sure of. So I preferred the small groups in the practical sense of the course. The disciplines we have in the Department of Building and Civil Engineering are Civil Engineering, Quantity Surveying, construction management and architectural technology and we offer all the programs at level 8. The programs are delivered using the highest quality um, equipment and high-tech software uh, to meet the needs of the current industry and even in the current climate we're having great success in getting our students um, employed after they graduate in GMIT. The purpose of today's event is to assist the students who are third years, junior cert and fifth year students in their CAO choices and to prepare them for what they might like to do in college in the future. What I learned today was that all degrees are on a level basis, that what the degree to do in the GMIT is the same as the degree they do in NUIG and in Trinity College and in the University of Glasgow and the University of UCERN, it's the same all over. That's a very important thing to actually uh, get across to students, that the level system is level in every way. I'm really impressed with what I see. Days like today should be integral and organic in that process. They see the people who lecture in the courses, they get hands-on experience, see what each of the disciplines do, and that's how they make good informed decisions. 